Hey, what's up gang? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey guys, wanted to do a quick unboxing for you with the brand new blade grinder that we picked up from Oregon. Let's check it out. Alright guys, I know over the years a lot of us have used a lot of different tools for grinding our blades and keeping them sharp. Obviously being in lawn care and landscaping, there's nothing you got to keep more on your mind than having fresh, sharp blades for your lawnmower. Over the years, I've used everything in between from uh, the drill bit that you put in the drill to keep them sharp. You can buy those little kits for $10 at your local hardware store. I've used the $50 to $75 angle grinders and everything in between. They all do a great job, but what I've noticed over the years is that no matter what I do, there still seems to be a skill set or a human error that I have with my blades with kind of rounding out the tips. And what I wanted to do is, honestly, I know it's a little excessive to throw down a couple hundred bucks for a blade grinder like this, but this is a hobby of mine. I love doing lawn care landscaping, and you know what? I wanted to invest and just get the blades sharp and correctly. Um, I did not have $1,500 like some of these uh, dealers do to sharpen blades on a belt grinder. So I just wanted to go with the Oregon wheel. I've heard a lot of great reviews from other guys in the industry and I appreciate all the comments on Instagram as well. Seems like a lot of you guys have this one. I'm excited about opening it up and showing you guys how it works and let's see how we can sharpen some lawnmower blades. Let's check it out. All right, I'll tell you guys like a friend, this thing weighs a ton. And point number two, this thing is taped up every single which way. Like even the straps are taped down. So uh, kudos to Oregon for making sure that, that this package is going to make it through the mail. That's always one of my concerns when you buy heavier pieces of equipment like this that cost a lot of money. But anyway, let's open it up. Of course, I open it upside down. All right guys, took a minute to get it out of the box, but let me do a quick uh, couple shots for you guys and we go around it. So this is the uh, grinding wheel. Now, again, I'm more of a fan of the belt style, but none of those were uh, for sale for like less than 1500 bucks um, from Oregon or anybody else. You get the guide plate here, I believe. It's gonna go somewhere like that. You got a bag full of bolts and screws. This one right here is the one third horsepower. I know there is a half horsepower one. Uh, so this one's like the baby, but nonetheless, it's still gonna do the trick. I've heard a lot of guys, uh, they swear by it. Haven't really seen too many reviews on it though. One of the reasons I also wanted to pick it up. So big chunky motor on the back, all metal. Uh, I believe this is your adjustment and pretty straightforward please make sure that you guys consult the owner's manual as always before using any new piece of equipment all right guys first up i had to install the two guards now these right here are just little metal plates they just have a washer and then a nut now you want to make sure that it's about a quarter inch away from the grinding wheel and i would imagine as the grinding wheel goes down in size you can just move the plates closer in all right and another part here that you guys might be able to see is the guard for the wheel there's one nut on the back. This plate just kind of slides through. And again, you never want to have this more than a quarter inch out from the wheel according to the directions. All right, so let's mount that. And then I believe we'll just have to put the guide plate on and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right guys, now I'm not sure how well you can see this, but right now the blades that I'm using that I've grinded out a few times, the wheel is on a really nice angle. Uh, according to the instructions, we're at that 30 degrees. So I'm gonna go take it in my shed right now, and now we'll go start sharpening some blades. All right guys, here's the grinder. We have it in my shed. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the inside of my shed. What's he keeping in there? Uh, just a bunch of you know, useless stuff that uh, my mom has. This is where I got started, man, nice and humble. You know, humble beginnings, still humble beginnings, what am I talking about? But I got all the basics up on top. I don't really come in here too often anymore. Grease gun, saw, bungee cords, you know, wrenches, just the basics, got a vise. Now back in the day, what I would always do is take the blades, put them right here in the uh, vise, and then I would just either use the uh, little blade grinding tool or the angle grinder. You guys can see right here, use a little blade grinding tool or an angle grinder and then just clean up my blades. But again, the issue that I kept running into was, for me personally, I keep rounding out the edges of the blades. Now I know 
That is a skill set thing from what I've been told. Uh, actually, my man Dell with Dell's Lawn Care, he uh, gave me some coaching ideas here too and same with my dealer. Um, but for me personally, I just wanted to make it a little bit more uh, error proof like I was mentioning. Use the new grinding wheel and, uh, you know, of course, you know, just maybe uh, give you guys some encouragement and, you know, do a video on it as well. Maybe it can help some guys out there that might be thinking about uh, upgrading and investing in a tool like this. So. Let's uh, start grinding some blades out and uh, see where it goes, guys. Now, guys, please, 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 as always, use your safety glasses. Don't take it for granted. Make sure you use your safety glasses. For me personally, I like the clear ones. That way I can always see what I'm doing while I'm in the shed. So we'll put these on. All right, guys, as you can see, it is grinding this out really nice. Uh, this is my most rounded out set. This is definitely an old set of blades. Definitely want to get some practice on. The wheel is definitely gripping it down, uh, kind of clamping it a little bit more, uh, but that's kind of expected with these blades being a little rough. So let me keep on going and let's see how we can uh, keep grinding these bad boys out. I was able to make the surface area move back, which was one of my concerns. All right guys, I am sweating my butt off in this shed. I've been grinding out the blades here for about 10 minutes, just trying to get a little used to it. Some on camera, some off camera, as you guys have seen. Uh, let me show you the first blade that I did and how it turned out. Of course, getting used to the machine, so don't judge me or anything like that. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, makes me a little anxious, a little nervous using this thing because it is definitely a beast. All right, as most of you guys know, cameras like this, so it's uh, sometimes hard to focus in on uh, little areas like this. But overall, I feel like the blade looks real nice. I did not feel like I had to uh, pull the blade away from the wheel, which was one of my concerns, to round out that corner, which I don't want. Instead, what I want to do is grind the blade back and make it the same way the whole way down by moving the blade back. See if we can get a different angle here. Again, pretty smooth, looking pretty decent. Um, honestly, a lot less effort than using an angle grinder. That's a fact. I mean, it's just pretty obvious, but it is, you know, four times the cost. So as you guys can see, that's not rounded out by any means. So I don't know, what do you guys think? What's the verdict? Uh, do you guys use any of the uh, Oregon blade grinders? Let me know what you guys think. Um, one thing I did have a question on is most of you guys may know that use this. On the back side, there is a metal hopper, and I saw that on Amazon, and unfortunately, it was like 80 or 90 bucks. What that's gonna do is capture all the metal shavings and all the grinder dust. All right, guys, that's the one-third horsepower Oregon blade grinder. I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. I was a little anxious, definitely nervous. Uh, you always wanna be safe. Definitely use your safety glasses and stay safe if you guys do pick one of these up. I'll make sure to leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description box if you wanna pick one up, fantastic really supports uh, our channel and I appreciate all the support that you guys do by using those links. Nonetheless, curious you guys thoughts. You guys use the Oregon blade grinder? Do you guys have one at your shop or where you guys work or even in your own shed or garage if you guys uh, are an owner operator kind of like myself? To be honest with you, I'm excited about ditching the angle grinder. It definitely takes off a little bit too much material sometimes. So I'm excited about using this guy and then not having those rounded out corners. Again, I know that's kind of a skill set thing. Now I can actually make it a little bit more idiot proof if you will and just use the blade grinder uh, to make the blade it's nice and sharp. All right, guys, nonetheless, I got about four or five more blades to keep grinding out. Nonetheless, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch up with all of you soon. Bye-bye.